So my good friend Vieco, aka Renderam, just released a video of how to add sliders to your scene and control various things to them. So if you're interested in learning about all about that and how to set it up, I recommend to go watch this video. You have the link in the description. However, there's one thing that he didn't cover in that video, and that is how to connect your slider to the HDRI offset in the bitmap to control the rotation. And it turned out it was a little bit trickier than you might imagine. So here I have a scene that I'm building to test my car materials and so on. It's not at all inspired by Color Sponge, obviously. I have set up a slider here that I've named some position. And I just want to be able to move this and by doing so rotating the HDRI. So how do I do this? Well, first, if I right click on my slider, go to where, wire parameters and go to slider and value. And I want to connect this to my bitmap. And I can't just click my bitmap here on the material editor. So what I have to do is to click out here in nowhere on the scene. That means that I get a basically a global like a world list here. I didn't I didn't click a specific object. And if you go down here, you can find your scene materials. But the problem is now that this is not a scene material. This is just a bitmap that is not actually connected to anything. What I might be able to do is to go into renderer because I do have it connected to the environment slot in FStorm. But if you find environment here, there's no way to see your bitmap connected here anywhere. So there is a workaround. I create an object, whatever object. Now I want to create a material, FStorm material. I can just attach this HDRI to the diffuse and I can just turn it off like this. And I want to name this like sun, all right? I can apply this to a sphere and just move the sphere out of the way. I don't want to have that in the scene. I don't want to have it visible. But now my bitmap is connected to a material and now I can find it here. So if I go here to wire, uh, right click on the slider, wire parameters, slider value, again, click in nowhere. And now if I go to scene materials, I can find my material called sun, there it is. If I open that, I can now find my bitmap, which is down here, diffuse texture. So now I can find it there. Now we have the next problem. If I go to the material here, I want to control this one, this value here, offset, which is currently set to 0 0.75. I do have offset here, but there are actually two different offsets. There are U offset and V offset. And I, for some reason, cannot access both of them here. And if I try to connect this one like this, I will get an error message. So that is just not doable. So I have to disconnect that again. And what I can do is now to right click on this map here and show all additional parameters. And chances are that you have never actually been doing this because not many people do. So here you have the offset. And what you can see here is that you have the offset value in three different values here. So you have the U, V and this one that is probably not used at all. So what I can do is to offset, I could add, for example, a Bezier 0.3. Now I have all these three points controllable and you can see that I can rotate this one and the HDRI rotates in the background. However, if I update this now, I can only see the offset Bezier 0.3, but I cannot actually access the values, all right? So this didn't work. What I have to do is then I can delete that and the right thing to do it is to add a point X, Y, Z. And the reason for that is now you actually have one controller individual per value. And now if I open the plus sign here, I can reach each value individually. So if I connect my slider to the X value here, two way connection, connect, now it worked, no error messages. And now if I pull this here, I am now controlling the HRI rotation with this slider. A little bit of workaround for something that really shouldn't be that tricky, but this works just fine. And now anytime I'm working around in the scene, I wanna change some angle and I also wanna change the HRI rotation. I'll just pull this one and I don't have to open the material editor or anything like that. So I hope this was useful to you. If it was, please subscribe and also go check out RenderRam's YouTube channel. He's got a lot of good stuff there.